a couple of months ago after the storm came through, we looked at each other and we'd pass each other up. Well, how are we going to get this done? What, what, what are we going to do? We don't have the money. We don't have the insurance. What are we going to do? And, you know, we prayed. We prayed about it and we just asked God to provide for us. Now, and I, I, I gave it to him and I knew that he would provide. And, but I didn't expect this. We're looking forward to the day and to the extent y'all are comfortable, we want to spend time with you guys, okay? Okay. okay? Please? Sure. I expected the roof to be patched, probably, but I came outside and, and this crew of 20 people or more were tearing the roof off. And I came back outside a couple of hours later and they're putting shingles on the entire surface, which is something that I never even dreamed of. I had fun. I actually was not planning on getting on the roof at all, uh, so I was going to be on the ground. But once I sat up there and looked around and realized it's not as scary as I expected, I got to do it. And um, that's an experience I wasn't expecting to have. If I were to tell my friends about how today went, I would tell them that I didn't fix a, a roof. I fixed a family and I fixed a home. The satisfaction from that is very rewarding. It's a good feeling. Let me just tell you what I had to bring on this trip. Practically nothing. Uh, I think I brought some gloves to work, but they have plenty of those, so I didn't even need that. I've never even gone on top of a roof before, and honestly, I'm scared of heights. But I just, uh, the level of leadership and the amount of support that they're, they're pouring into us and the guidance they're pouring into us, uh, I always felt really secure in what I was doing. And, uh, and I also felt like I was contributing, even though I never really done it before. Maples for Neighbors has a mission to go into uh, other areas and to replace rooftops, do work, repair work for people that we do not know. And I think that's what God calls us to do. He wants us to reach out to our neighbors. I have to admit, seeing that look on that couple's face in Victoria was an amazing moment. I just feel so unworthy, but I'm so thankful because I know it's nothing but God and what He can do. And if he did it for me and Bruce, he'll do it for you too. Just believe, just trust, just pray, and let God do, take care of the rest.